All right, so um, Gage was asking for a gaming computer. This isn't necessarily his gaming computer I'm about to build, but I have boxes here. I'm going to try and unbox stuff and kind of get it set up on the table here real quick before he gets home so that he can see uh, all the stuff we got so we can go and have a better stream and have better gaming and we can game on the computer and on the console and have no issues with our streams. We've had issues in the past with uh, freezes and we can't do overlays. So now we'll be able to. I didn't spend a ton of money, but I did spend mm, a decent amount and we should have a decent gaming computer that can do pretty much whatever we need to do. So let me get these boxes and get everything up here on the table here. All right, so we have a 27 inch curved specter, scepter. I don't know, it's got 144 uh, hertz refresh rate. Uh, we picked this up pretty cheap. Um, and I watched, uh, there were a bunch of reviews on it, and they said for the price, you can't really beat that on Amazon right now. So that's what we ended up with for uh, the monitor. Um, I went with a fractal tower. Uh, when I pull it out of here, as you can see, the color is white. So you'll see that, that the color is white. So I'll pull this out in a little bit. I wanted to get these other boxes kind of opened up real quick. Everything here that we need to build this except windows. Unfortunately, uh, the place I ordered from for originally went on back order and I had to go back in Amazon and order it and won't be here tomorrow. We got a nice Corsair 450 power supply. So we'll have plenty of power. Um, yeah, I'm kind of old school, so I got an external or a, a disk drive, just how I roll. Um, got uh, 16 gigabytes, so it's two 8 gigs of uh, RAM, so that's pretty good. Get this next box open real quick. So we're looking at a one terabyte SSD drive, or uh, drive, so we won't have to wait for things to load up. And if later on we find that we're loading a bunch of stuff, I'll just add uh, a regular, like six terabyte or something, like regular uh, old hard drive. We went with the GeForce GTX 1650 Super. Um, this will be pretty dang decent for what we're wanting to do. We went with a, uh, just a Red Dragon keyboard with some backlit stuff so I can play at night down in the den. I'll probably have lights on anyways, but just got, thought it was kind of neat. It wasn't too expensive. Red Dragon was kind of uh, fairly okay for PC or for keyboards that were under 50 bucks, so that's why I went with it. So it'll go good it goes with this keyboard or uh, motherboard. But for what we're going to be doing, we're not gaming anything super crazy. We're not looking for crazy high um, uh, graphics, refresh rates, and all this other crazy stuff. We're looking to, to game on stuff like I'll be doing League of Legends probably. Kids will be doing Minecraft. Maybe some Fortnite. I doubt it. They, they play mostly Fortnite on their Switches and stuff. But... We have a pretty good haul here, I think. Um, we'll be able to build a pretty decent uh, rig, 
and uh, we'll be able to upgrade it later on for not a ton of money. And I think this will be the one of the something nice to start with, getting back into PC gaming. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was all under a thousand dollars. I'll add everything up later on. But you know, I could have maybe gone with with a better uh, chip. But like I said, uh, I was watching uh, what is it? Uh, Linus Tech or something like that. Uh, it's these Canadian guys on YouTube, and they were they were doing like a decent uh, mid-range build. Is what they were looking at, and this was one of the ones that they kind of suggested. Um, they had an older card. I went with a little bit newer card. I had to change out the motherboard uh, from what they suggested, but I kind of got everything that I really needed. And if we have to upgrade and maybe get a new card or something, I'm gonna have to upgrade the. Uh, power supply too, but that's that's going to be quite some time before we do that, at least a year, if not more. Um, had a very similar rig back in the day, like mid-range, and it worked great for like five, six years before I finally had to start replacing stuff. So, when Gabe gets here, he'll see all this stuff, and then you get to watch him build most of it, and uh, I'll help out and stuff, but he's going to be doing the build. 13 years old. Um, I didn't get to build my first computer then. I was tinkering with computers at the time, but you were looking at like Commodores and stuff that I was messing with. And um, at, and like I said, I haven't built anything in like a decade, so I was watching stuff on wire management, which I'm okay with wire management, but I haven't done things, uh, I just haven't dealt with a lot of the newer stuff. Yeah, it's all, it should all be plug and play, just like it was about a decade ago. But uh, like I said, We'll, we'll get it up and running. We'll get we'll get some video of him putting it together. But uh, yeah, this is going to be our gaming rig for streams and stuff. So when you guys are wondering what we're doing, we'll be doing it on this. And it didn't cost me a ton of money. So we'll see how it works out. All right. So when Gage walks in, this is what he's going to see. Don't mind this uh, centerpiece, but. Like I said, we went with a nice white case. It was the cheapest uh, at, I think, 50 bucks. i3 core, uh, ninth gen Intel chip. Got all our stuff here. So he'll be able to open this stuff up and I'll walk him through uh, set, uh, putting it together and stuff. So I think his biggest thing is gonna be he's gonna get frustrated uh, with cord management because I'm gonna be a stickler for it. I hate having cords all over the dang place. I'm, I'm, I work in aviation and it, it upsets me when people don't run things the right way and don't use zip ties and stuff the right way that when they're supposed to and I think I'm gonna probably have to get on them about that stuff but um, outside of that this case is supposed to have a whole lot of cooling and we shouldn't have to be putting a big old fan on this we'll just have to I think we'll just use the heat sink that comes with it because um, we're not overclocking anything so here we go Here's Gage. Gage is coming. Yeah, they already got stuff going up at the house across the street. What's up? Yeah, guess who's building this computer? Us? Or you? You. Oh, I am, okay. Yep. So, the only thing we don't have is Windows, because they messed up on the order, and it's not coming till tomorrow. But we can put the whole thing together, and have it all set up, and ready to go. Sure. Gotta do my math homework first. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do math homework first. So... I'm going to prep most of this stuff and have it ready to go, and then he'll put it all together. So, see you guys in a minute. Oh. All right. Are you ready? Yes, I am very ready. All right. So, what do you think the first thing you need to start with is? Just guess. Guess? Yeah. So, you've got your CPU, your motherboard, this uh, DVD drive, power supply, um, this is a hard drive, RAM, video card, and case. What do you think the first thing you need to start with is? 
case fail. Uh, I'm gonna give you a hand. Okay. <laughs> the motherboard. That's, that's not a hint at all. Yeah. <laughs> that's just. That, that's a hint. That, that's an answer. I I knew the uh, what's it called the the power or whatever thing. The power supply is gonna yeah. last. All right, yeah. so like, that, that one we got a uh, B. 360 gaming one. So it says that it is a gaming motherboard. It's a gigabyte. That's who makes this gigabyte. Okay. This is this is the motherboard here. You need to pay attention to what I'm, what I'm showing you, okay? This is your Wi-Fi card. Okay. Okay. We don't need that yet. This is the antenna for the Wi-Fi. Also don't need that yet. Okay. Okay, this is some thumb screws. Thumb screws, we don't want to lose these. When we get done, we can put this awesome whoop whoop whoop, this awesome little uh, little thing on, yeah, logo on our case. This is the uh, back case that goes on here. It goes it hooks to the case, all right. And then this is a connector, all right. We don't need any of those things yet. Oh, and here's your uh, case. All right, so first thing you need to do is get that out of there. But, I'll show you how to handle this stuff, okay? Very carefully. Yes, so, we don't have an electrostatic, uh, sensitive, sit you can sit down or stand up, doesn't matter, okay? So, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna build on this, okay? Kay. That way, it's, I mean, this is wood anyways, which is good, uh, it doesn't conduct a lot of electricity, but we don't want anything electrocuting this stuff. And even you just going out and walking on the carpet and coming back would build up enough uh, enough static charge that you could you could actually hurt the circuitry on this. Take off my socks, you know. Yeah, well, that's the, that's what I'm talking about. You need to not mess with your socks, not mess with your feet. Okay. When you handle this, you only want to handle it by these big parts here. You don't want your fingers all over. So you don't want to touch all of this. See all these circuits and stuff on the back? Mm -hmm. You want to touch those least as, the least amount as possible, right? So we got this cool little thing. So what do you think you need next? This is the motherboard. Okay. Okay, what do you think you need next? All right here, and here or out there? Uh, out there. Uh, say, tell me the stuff again. You have the CPU, which is the central processing unit. The... Uh, video card, you have a hard drive, you have some RAM. I'm gonna guess the hard drive? No, the video card? <laughs> I'm not gonna guess this. Okay, so, this is where your CPU goes, oh, okay? CPU. So you see that stuff's gonna go all around this, and there's gonna be a piece that goes on top of it and buries it, so you need to do your CPU next. Okay. Yeah. Should have unboxed all this stuff while you're while you're over there, but I was trying to clear up space on the camera here. Nope. I'm a bad guesser. That's all right. Okay, so we're not going to take any of this stuff off until we're ready. Okay. Good. You can technically build on top of this thing, and that would also help with static. So I'm guessing you're gonna remove this thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll get there. Oh. Okay, okay so this comes with it. We're not doing a big fan. A lot of people put a big fan on top of this to keep it cool, right? We're just using the, uh, the radiator that comes with it, okay? So this has a little fan and a little radiator, right? We're not overclocking our card, so we don't need a big one. So we're just gonna use the stock one. And it comes with some, ew, some thermal stuff. Don't touch that. Why? Because that's the thermal bond, what it does is it, uh, it gives it a nice uh, chemical way to be able to, oops, you don't want to put, oh, that's fine, to 
transfer heat from this straight to these to this radiator and then the fan blows off all the uh, stuff so okay. you need to put this in there but you need to get that out so you, what you do that doesn't just come off you need to open this so you push down on that like this so magic okay then you pop this open yeah. like this I knew all of that. okay so you see a triangle right there Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to take this. Triangle, right? Yeah, there's a triangle on this too. Okay. See, right there? Mm -hmm. So you line those up when you put them in. So let me get this out of here. Okay, you don't want to touch those. So you just want to drop it in. So where did the triangle go? Okay, here it is, like this. So hold it from the sides. And you just drop it in there. You don't have to press it in or anything. You just kind of line it up. You gotta line it up. Okay, line it up. See, like that. See how little notches lined up? Notches lined up, right? Yeah. Okay. Then you put this back down. This will come off. You need to keep this in case the motherboard is actually cruddy. Okay. So then what you do, you put this down, and then you push this down and slide it under there. Go ahead. You got. You're gonna have to push it hard. It holds the. It holds that in place. Keep going. It needs to come out and under. There you go. Oh, yeah, we're done building the computer now. No. Okay. You need to. It needs to be able to dissipate heat, and this dissipates the heat right here. Okay. All right. So this is gonna be a little bit trickier. You got these thumb things, and a lot of people will, like I said, they'll buy uh, better fans, right? Because you get better the better heat and stuff, and they put a, a mounting bracket through these four holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then they mount the fan to that. But our fan doesn't have that. It has these little clips, and they're called thumb. Uh, they're thumb depressed, so you have to push them down and turn them to lock them in. So, okay. let's see. Where's the um, fan plug? All right, CPU fan. See where that's at? So we want to make this side close to this, so we can plug it in there. Okay, so that's not going to work that way. But we want as much of this run. So, when you unconnect this here, okay, you'll be able to put that in there. I really wish, unfortunately, it won't reach if we have it this way. And see if it'll, if I put it just across this way, see it'll it'll hit this. That won't be good. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. So we're gonna have to put this this way. Our cord management is not gonna be as awesome as if uh, someone had done this. So you're gonna need to lock these in. Don't worry about that yet. Oh, lock them in? Yeah, lock those in. How do you lock them? Which way, right or left? You get, so you push down. Oh, you just push them up, then twist? And then twist. Okay. You gotta push them all down. Here, click, click, click. All right, now you gotta twist them all. Okay. Oh, this way, okay. Yeah, I'm probably blocking the camera, maybe, I don't know. You know. Don't worry about blocking the camera. They get it. Okay. Got this one. Alright, let's look and see if it's locked down in the back. Okay, that one's locked in, locked in. That one's locked in. Alright, hold on. This one needs to go all the way to the right. Okay, see it's turned that way now. And now it's... See how it's spread out, spread out, spread out. So that'll hold it on there, okay? And then you plug this in right there. Okay, so see which way the little thing is? You gotta slide it down on that, so try that. Slide it Yep, push it down. If it's lined up, there you go. Okay, so I really, like I said, I wish we'd be able to do a lot more with this, but see how this is spinning? So we're gonna have, this is gonna be here. You can't do much about it, right? I think the most I could do, let me see if I can. I don't like a bunch of cords hanging out around stuff, so let me try this. Yeah, I should be able to do it this way, let's see. If I could slide it under this, around this post, and we can hide it a little bit. Okay, lock 
this post in. There we go. That looks better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's good. So now we don't have cords hanging all over the place, right? Okay. So what do you think you need next? This one's a kind of a toss-up. What do you think you need next? Sand. You've got, you've got RAM left. You've got your your uh, video card. You have um, power supply, hard drive. Um, I think that's it. We're, getting, we're running out of parts already. RAM? Yep, you can do RAM next. Oh uh, yeah, I guess something right. Yeah. I did it. You did it? Let me check it. I actually guessed something right. Okay, so we have two 8 gig sticks of RAM. Oh yeah, that's why I was assuming this thing right here. In this yep, that's RAM. So you want to make sure that we use the number one First, let me see if there's one that's marked on here. Okay, so if there's not one that's specifically marked number one, what we will do is look at the owner's manual and see if there's any spot where it's like, oh, look, there's a disc. We need these for the bios later on. Okay, so no, no, not there. What is that, like a tutorial or something? No, that will be the, uh, the disc that we need to install the uh, the firmware that will run everything. Oh, so that's not like a video, is it? No. No, well that's why I got a, uh, a, a disk drive. A lot of people have skipped the disk drive nowadays, and but I kept one, let's see. Uh, before you go and install the memory, make sure the motherboard supports the memory. Did you recommend the memory of the home? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, dual channel memory, tool modules. Let's see if there's a little. So we got the CPU in already. Thought there'd be a little diagram that showed which, uh, which slots are number one here, and which ones are number two. Okay, I'm gonna guess that the ones closest to here are what we need to use first because it's not. It's not showing. I guess technically you can use any of them. I've seen people where they'll put it one here and then one here, but we're just gonna stack them both up on that one, okay? Okay. So, now these are kind of tough, but if you look at how these are, see that slot there? Mm -hmm. See where that's at? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to line that up. So do you think it goes this way? No. Okay, so it'll go this way, right? Yeah. So you put it in and you push it down so those things lock. Go ahead. You're going to have to push pretty hard on both sides. Nice. Yeah. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. You feel like you're going to break it, right? Uh, okay. Did I break it? No. All right, so you got to push on each side. I'll let you try this one. Okay. Okay. Those look fancy, right? They have ones that have colors and stuff, but we did not go for fancy. We went for functional. Okay. All right. Now you got to push down on the edge, like on the top. Push on the top of it, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Oh no! Not, you got to push it straight down. Okay, hold on. Ah, my thumbs. Yeah. I got a big lines on. Yeah. Okay. Here, let's put it on there. So there's no. How was that? Though? Yeah. There you go. Now push down on that. Get not not this way. Straight down. Like this. So, so put one thumb here, and one thumb there, and push straight down. Come on, you can do it. Ah, these edges are. Ow, you're a wizard. <laughs> All right, so. I'm weak, I got noodle arms. Noodle arms? Well, that had nothing to do with arms. I do. All right, so. Wow. All right, okay. we did. So now we got the RAM, we got that. What's next, do you think? Okay. Ooh, G-Skill, we'll need to put that on there. The hard drive? All right, let's see. I don't think this is the, the, I don't think it's the hard drive, but we'll look. I think the hard drive is a, it is solid state. 
and there are some solid state hard drives that would plug into a spot like, um, where is it? Like right here? Mm -hmm. No, this is where the Wi-Fi plugs in, right? So there's other ones that would plug in to these other spots. I don't think I got one of those. I believe this is a SATA, meaning it's, uh, goes somewhere else in the, in the computer. So let's open this. If I had gotten a knife, I'd be able to open this stuff a lot easier. Okay. There we go. Okay, so, this is not the kind. There's nowhere for that to plug in on here, okay? See, there's no, um, we'll flip it over. There's nowhere for that to plug in. Nowhere on the back. Nothing can go on the Nothing, right? Well, there, there are some hard drives that have spots to plug stuff in back here. Oh, yeah? And, yeah, and they're hard, and they have memory. This will get mounted in the bottom of this somewhere, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're not doing this yet. All right, so, what's next? Okay. See the other things again. I'll just bring it over. I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's, well, it's the last thing. The video card. This is going to give us our gaming video. So, you kind of, this is kind of important to have. Okay. Now, technically, you could have started with the case. Okay, you could have started with the case, and you could have prepped it and got all the wires ready. Okay, got all the spots ready where you're going to put everything. Yeah. And then you could have mounted the motherboard in there and then put everything on it um, while it's in there. You got a screwdriver? I do have a screwdriver out in the garage. Okay, you could have done it that way. I think this way is easier. Having everything mounted, all the room to work, and then put it in there in the end. Okay, so we'll go off video, and I'll kind of prep this a little bit, and then we'll get it over here ready to go, okay? But we'll get this, uh, this video card in. Okay, so this is going to be a big video card, which is good. That means it has a big fan. Hopefully it's not super loud. Good, something. No, that was just the, uh, right there. yeah, that's the other uh, board thing, okay? So, see attention, electrostatic sensitive area. Do not enter without proper electrostatic safety. So, we've already done that, right? We're working on wood. You're not messing with things, right? Yeah. If you really wanted, you could reach over and touch that, uh, the screw on that outlet, if you had any static electricity, it would go away. Actually, the screw on that lid. Oh. Just touch it. Screw. There oh. it is in the middle. Oh. Okay. Did you get shocked at all? No. Okay. That means you you don't have any static electricity. You're good. Okay. So stuff like this can create static electricity. Turn on one hand. It's it's your whole body would get grounded on that on that one thing. Okay. That's not. It's not by hand, okay? Okay? Fancy, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they gotta go somewhere like right here. Okay, so we take this off. This here. Okay, this protects this. Alright, so where do you think it goes? Right here. Right, right here, like this, like this. How? I think sideways. Maybe. Sideways, like yeah. this. Yeah. Where at? Look, look at the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Where does this go? It's pretty. It, it'll go in like this. I'm gonna give you that hint. Okay. So it's either gonna go probably this. Okay. What's this say? So it's gigabyte, right? What does this one say? Wi-Fi. That's where Wi-Fi would go, right in here. So that's not it. So these are other PCIs, so you can put an audio port here and all this other stuff. So, you're right, it will go here. It's supposed to go there. Did the thing lie to me and tell me that I got... Oh, no, okay, I see the Okay, so... We have to move it off this a little bit. Here, quick. Yeah. All right. We gotta take that plastic circle. Yeah. See, 
We'll take all the pla- Oh, I guess we can take it off now. It's not going to hurt nothing. Should have taken it off first. Because it got it was stuck underneath there. Okay. So what we'll hold this on the rest of the way is when we mount this to that. Okay. And I'll show you how to do all that stuff in a second. Alright, so I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna set up the uh, the case. Okay. Okay. All right, so we made a mistake. You're not supposed to put this graphics card on yet, so take it back off. All you do is push down on this guy here. That should come right out on the little, little wiggles. There you go. Okay. Okay. Stick. So we will put this over here on this other static thing. All right, so. Let's move this out of the way for a second. Okay. Okay. We've got our case, taking the sides off. Okay. Um, you'll probably need either the power supply or the hard drive. What do you want to do first? Mm. Hard drive. Hard drive. Okay. So here's the hard drive. Oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to... I'm going to find the, the uh, screws we had a second ago. There they are. Okay. So you got these little tiny screws? No. Let me go, let me go get my uh, other screwdriver. I'll be right back after this uh, commercial little break. Obviously, we don't have advertisements, but still. Like this. Oh, you're back. Yes, of course I am. I got a whole little tool set here yeah, so for doing good. small uh, stuff. Let's see. Uh, here's a screwdriver. I bet it's a number. What are these? We got the instructions out just to make sure that we're not messing nothing up. Even bullet burn reactor, if they even notice it in the morning. Who knows? It's not going to work because we don't have the um, we don't have windows yet. Yeah. What's that supposed to be? Um, they said tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Let me get that. We're gonna have to open it back up to put it in there. Windows? No. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know. I mean, I I don't know nothing. Okay. Here's this. Okay. Okay. Here's four screws. So you need to screw that hard drive to that to that bracket. Four screws. Don't lose them. Get this. Bring this over here. Oh gosh, don't drop it, please. What are you doing? I'm moving it. Oh, okay. Get it closer to me. I don't know if you can see. Do I have to hold it like. Okay, look. It's gonna go in this way. And you just slide here. Mm -hmm. Okay? If we wanna hide the cords, you need to put it this way. Like this. Okay? Yeah. And then it will be facing back this way, and we'll take the cords up the side and from behind the motherboard. Oh, I screw that in. So, yes, you have to screw that in there. How do you screw it in? Like this. Oh, we gotta hold it upside down. Oh, so you have to, you're gonna have to actually use both hands here. You're gonna have to get coordinated. Yeah. Put, put oh my gosh, bro. Okay, I'm. No, it's fine. It's fine. Here, hold this. <laughs> get the screw. Get this out of the way. So that way you have light. Thank you. Okay. Screw one in. Oh, 
first time, okay? It's gonna take you gotta start it with your fingers. Right. Try and twist it right, right? Yep, you gotta twist it to the right. Make it to the right. That's why I said you had to start it with your fingers. Stop. See now it's stuck to that? It's magnetic. Oh. Yeah, you're way better at this than me. Trying to stop at the right stop. Okay. Now you should be able to try and hold it up and put the other ones in. Make sure we got the right screws while you're doing that. Don't lose those. Okay. Here, put them in here when you're not using them. You can't lose those, dude. You're doing that, I'm gonna put this in over here. Okay, got the second one in. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to tighten them down super tight. It's not very heavy. Be here tomorrow. I know. So you're gonna have to. Set I it. I will finish setting it up. Don't worry. The okay. software stuff's not the. This is this is the fun part. The software stuff's kind of boring. This is hardware. Hardware is more fun. It makes it fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just be chilling on my X socks over the weekend. <laughs> on your X socks. I, I guess you can call it that for now. Okay, you get all four of those in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you don't need to be super tight, let me check. Okay, they gotta be tight enough to hold it, but yeah, not. I really said that. I don't think I've tied up that one. Okay, that one's sure. good. That one's good. That one's good. All right, so then you just slide this in here. This. Boop! I did it! Yeah! See how you gotta make sure it locks in, okay? Later on, if we want, we, we can, can add, add another one, okay? This is very fast. It's called solid state. Solid state hard drive, okay? The other ones you have are spinny, and the spin ones, you can get a lot of storage on those for very cheap. But we wanted, I wanted faster, and that was actually really cheap for uh, a terabyte of memory. Ooh. So, terabyte, it's huge. Yes, it's a thousand gigabytes, okay. right? Thousand gigabytes? Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna open up the power supply. Okay. On this instruction, where does the power supply go? Okay, 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 okay. So we're on step, what step are we on? Um, don't worry about the steps. Look for the one that tells you to put it in the power supply. Small power supply. There you go. Where's it go? Well, where's the big, the big blue thing? It goes right here. Right there. Yeah, right here. Yeah. So you got that big hole in the back. That's yeah. probably where the exhaust is gonna go. The exhaust. Yep. So. All the nice stuff that yeah. we're letting into the air. See all this ridiculous? Yeah. We have to hide all of this. That's. <laughs> 
this is called this is called power cord man management. All right, so uh, yay. yay, yeah, it's not super fun, but so this we want to make part. sure. Yep, yeah, that's the fun part. Okay, so let's make sure which way this goes in. Where's all the mount stuff? Mount, there's gotta be something mounted. Oh, screws on this side mounted. All right, let's make sure we're putting it in the right place. Oh, it looks easy to screw in, but the cords. Yeah, hold on. <coughs> oh, they got like a little on button. Is that like the power button right Yep, there? so that's where you turn that on, right? And that gives you the main power. Then later on, you push this button to turn it on and off. Okay. So you gotta like turn the screen on and that on. Mm hmm. You're gonna get a blast. Okay. Boom, boom. Hi. <gasps> Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Okay, so there's two ways to do this, from what I'm understanding. You can do it this way where it pulls air from in here, right? It's not bad. Or you can flip it the other way and then it'll pull air from underneath. But I think that this way is going to be the better of the two ways. This has some feeling around down here. I don't, the bottom does not have a uh, good pop of water. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's look. Let's look at what the bottom of this has on it. Because that stuff's mounted, it's not going anywhere. And so it has a screen. And it will suck the air. Um, I don't know. We may put it this way. It's not horrible, I don't think. It does have? It looks like it has plenty of clearance. We're not putting this on the carpet. That'd be a horrible idea. <laughs> There's, no, you laugh, but there's people that do that. Never, ever, ever put this on the carpet. Mm. Yeah, they'll put this, like, down towards the carpet. Mm, bad stuff. Why? Um, because they think they can just put it on the ground. It's out on the wood. It's the best bit, right? Yeah, we're going to have it on top of the desk. So it's not going to be, um, hindered in any way. Near the carpet. There's not there, even there's no. See all these cords. We want all these cords to go out this way for now. And I'll figure out what to do with them in a minute. through in here and keep all this junk out of the main area. If we need something back, we can always pull it back through. Okay? See, this side isn't the one with the tempered glass, so when you put it all through here, you won't see it. It'll all be hidden. And then it'll look nice. Oh, okay. And later on, if we want, we can get all those those fans that light up and stuff, and we can do all that later, but um, that, that stuff was not... I don't, I don't get the point about it. Really well, care. gamers like it, okay? So they like to show it off. Personally, I don't need it. Okay, so now you're gonna need to put ow <laughs> screws through here. So you gotta line up them holes. Okay. Okay. They line up 
pretty good. Nice and easy. And the big screws for this go. Okay, here you go. Here's the four screws for it. And you're not going to use that screwdriver anymore. Now we're going to use the bigger screwdriver. Yeah, there's a screw out and stuff. Yeah, because I don't know if there's like... So I screw it, screw it. Okay, you figure out what screws go now? Yep. Alright. Remember, when you're, when you're right, is, oh, there's the whole PC here. Right, right is what? Always right. Right is always right. You mean right, and right is tight, and left is loose? <gasps> That's what I was going to say for left. Lefty, okay. lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Yeah, I knew that. Right yeah. is tighty. There's mechanics that still say that in their heads when they go to do things and they're having issues. I'm, I'm one of those mechanics. Every time in my head, I'm like, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Like I don't already know which way to spin it. Okay, we didn't put the Wi-Fi card in this thing yet, so I'm gonna move it out of the way because we're not there. We're not too motherboard yet. Okay, this is the plug. This is the plug. Mm -hmm. we'll get this out of the way. We don't need it right now. So while he's doing that, I'm cleaning up everything. How you coming, Gage? I got two screws in. Two screws. All right. And I made sure they were tight. And they're tight. Good. Okay. I'm just making noises. Uh, like a rocket blasting off or something. Yes, I am a rocket that blasts off. Team rocket. Team rocket blasting off at the speed of light. Jesse. James. James. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. Man, why, why did they change that? The class. I don't know, dude. Did you get? Did you get it? Yeah, like. They, every new Pokemon? Wrong, I, I told you that's the wrong one. You need this one. Oh, that's working. I understand it's working, but that's the right one. If you don't use the right one, you can strip out the screws, and then we'll never be able to get them out of there. Okay. I know you don't understand, but... Okay. We shouldn't need these. This Well, we might need this number one again. I'll, I'll keep it out. Okay, you got it? Yep. Okay. Alright, what's this say to do next? Take those off, put, um, install the two and a half inch drive behind the PSU. No, we didn't want to do that. We installed the power supply. Okay. Alright, and then we installed, oh, we need to install the standoffs. <clears throat> and this thing. So I installed this back here. Okay. So now you need to install standoffs. So you put this down. Oh my. Yeah. Is that crushing all the cords? The cords are fine, dude. That's just. <laughs> they're really sturdy, trust me. Okay. okay. You got these little standoffs here. Where'd they go? Yeah. Okay. Take off. Okay. I think there, there should be like nine of them or something. Let's see. Let's see how many there are. If I can get this open without ripping the bag in like 800 pieces. Okay, so. Got these thumb screws. I don't need those right now. Okay, here's a standoff. Here's a standoff. Standoff, standoff, standoff. Okay, so you need to take these standoffs, alright, and there will be nine spots. 
on here and put them. See there, 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 there. How do I get them in? You just twist them in. Oh. You can stand up. Uh, do I gotta use this, this one more? No, you have to use your fingers, dude. Oh, so they just twist them on? Yes. That's easy. Yeah, that's why I was like, you just twist them in. Stand off. Okay, twist them. Stand off. What? You gotta twist it down all the way. Yeah. This is what the motherboard's gonna twist in or gonna sit go into. Oh, is it like stand it up? Yeah, it keeps it off the off the case. Okay, there's some more. Here's some more. Okay. See, it shows where they go right here. Okay, so if it's like this, put one here. This other one goes right here. You put it in the wrong spot. It's alright. Put that one in there. light on over top of it, so. And it's just that it's in this itty bitty corner. I'm probably going to have to do it from this side. So do it from that side. There's room for both of us. Alright, with my left hand. That's way better. Being a jerk hole. Hey, I'm on your knee there. Yes, I'm. It's watching Gage uh, play YouTube. Yep. Why isn't he building? Oh, I gotta build. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, building time. What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Your build space is right where you were at. Oh, amazing. All right, here you go. <laughs> All right, so we're going to lay this down on top of all these cords as much as you love that the first time we did it. Okay, so let's see if we can get the camera set up to a good spot. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. I bet I can see right in there. All right, so you're going to put the motherboard in now. All right, so which way do you think the motherboard goes? It probably goes in... Like that way, right where you have it currently holding it right now. I like think. this? Yeah, yeah. That way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's not way, I think. Okay, put on these standoffs. Line everything up there in the back. Let me get this off here before we get too far and it gets cinched down. Okay, so there's a little nubby thing that I'm going to put this on here in a second. I'll show you. it all the way down. Okay. Get upset with it. Pick it up. So later on, if we decide that the CPU is getting too hot, we just get a different fan. Okay. There we go. Alright, so there's this little indent thing here. See, 
see right there? That little thing coming through? That's gonna guide you. So you push it until that's on there like that. And cinch down all the way. See that? A little nub there mm -hmm. that filled in? Okay, that's gonna hold it in place while you take screws and screw that all in. Okay, so you want this screwdriver. Mm, you just Did it move? Yeah, you nudged it. I what? You nudged it. I nudged it. I wasn't even anywhere near it. Oh, I thought it moved. I thought you hit the thing or something. Okay. Don't do that again. All right, back over here. Here's your screwdriver. Okay. Okay. I believe you're gonna take um, these screws. Does it say the big bulky screws or the flat screws? Okay, it's these ones. Here's one screw. Hold on. Let me um, help you out here. I'll put the screws you need right there. So we've only got five spots to put these uh, in, and we made sure there's no other standoffs underneath there that could uh, try and arc any of our uh, our little connections on the back. Okay, is that one in? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can check. No, no, I'll check them after you got them done. Go ahead. Okay. There's another one here, and one over here. I can't believe there's not anything over here, but all right. You sure? No, there's, oh, there's one there, but it's not here. I'm pretty sure we put a standoff under that. I really hope we put a standoff under that. There's a standoff there, I know there is. We missed the standoff? I think so. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? All right, take it back out. This should be magnetic, move your hand. Dude, really? What the heck? <laughs> Here's a screw. Don't drop it back in there. We're missing a standoff, guys. I could have swore we had one there. Okay, so. That means we take this back out. Get it up off that little nub there. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, there's no standoff there. All right, so we're not using this one. That's really weird. I wonder if that's to line it up on if there was one over here instead. Mm. All right, so there's none there. Okay. Okay, let's make sure the other standoffs are there. There's one here, 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 here. So there's only five spots that this mounts for this this particular hard drive. So there's nothing here. Don't use that one. Don't use that one, I said. And you went right to it. So my brain's messing up. Okay, well, you need to get it straight because we got to finish this build. Is there one over here? Yep, there's one in that corner. That's tricky. Yep, it'll be tricky. It's like the trick. Remember, it's magnetic, so not 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 that magnetic. Luckily, it. Oh. Okay, 
Stop, stop, stop. Man, I'm bad. <laughs> See? Nah, I did the same thing. Okay, hold on. Dumb thing. It'd help if I could see all the way. What are you touching that for? I just make sure. You're good, dude. Okay, hold on a second. I think this. Uh, put put one in either here or here or over here. Here. Get this other other one. Phillips number two. I think this one's more. Oops, the wrong setup. You can get it, dude. Maybe. You gotta watch what you're doing. You can't sit down and do it. It's not gonna work that way. Use this one. Get rid of that one. That one came with my monitor. This one's better a little bit. So over? Nope, I need one more right there. That's the one you're gonna put in. It's in the corner, so you should be able to get it fairly easy. That's right, kind of out in the open. There's nothing around it. This uh thing right here, it's messing it up. It's this, it's metal. Then, well, that's not gonna. I'm telling you right now. Look, you put this on here. It holds it. And then you put it in. Okay. Yeah, you tighten it. What are, you, what are you worried about? What do you do? Okay, it doesn't need to be super tight. You're gonna back. You said a cord right here. Yeah, I don't care about the cord. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's the nub. This is good. That one's good. And that one's good. All right. So now, you put in the uh, video card. But, here's the problem. Are you serious? So what do you think you need to do? If that won't go, what do you think you need to do? Uh, hand it to me. Hand it to you. Yeah, what's blocking it? So we're gonna have to remove that. Remove what? This. Oh yeah, yeah. But not not this top one. But how many do you think? Is that one or two? Uh, one. 
This is one. You think that's all it's going to take to get that in there is just taking one of these out? Yeah. Okay. So do this one. Not this one. This one. Just take that out. Just the thumb screw. So you got to turn to the left. Sure. You can use the screwdriver if you want. And then put it over there with the rest of the thumb screws. Okay. Yep, it just slides out. Alright. Well, put it in there. Hmm. Something's not right. Like maybe you need to take uh, another two. one out? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you need to take two out. I didn't realize how big they were. That you're trying it the wrong way. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Definitely. Yeah, so video cards nowadays take up two. I think the last time I had one, they only took up one spot. And my case didn't have like these nice little slide ones. I had once I popped the holes out of mine, that was it. They were done. Okay. Should we just keep these? Hold on, hold on. Does it look like you need some screws or something over there? No. No? I don't think so. Okay, mm -hmm. so like ten. So I don't see nothing. Yeah, it's on this side. What? What's that? Okay, now, you think you need some screws over there? <laughs> yes, yes you do. You need some screws right there. I don't think a thumb screw will work. Yes it will. Yep. I can't get it between there. Um, that's because you're putting it in the wrong spot. Oh, right. See, there's a hole there, and there's a hole there. Can't get it. Yeah. Where'd my screwdriver go? The good one. Did you grab different thumb screws? Push this this way. Push what? The case a little bit. Toward, push it in. Well, that's interesting. Here, let me see so I can see what I'm doing. Ouch. Ouch, as well. Hmm. Hold on. There's nothing to mess up. Screw that in. Screw that one in. Yep. 
What are you doing? Screw it. Got it? Man, you're screwing forever. Okay. Hold on, stop. Yeah, what are you doing to this thing? Cross that and the crud out of it. All right. I did my Yeah. held in by the one. I don't know why it's acting that way. It doesn't want to go in. That thing doing? It does not want to go in there. Oh, it's in. Well, that's, this one just got tied to the thing. Oh, that's all. Okay, I don't know why I was acting all that that way when I had a screwdriver on it. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Now what? What's your instructions say? You got the motherboard in. Now we have, oh, now we put this in, so we skip this step. Well, what does it say to do? Connect cables from I.O. and fans. Okay, we also have to put the Wi-Fi card in, which is this one. So, let's put the Wi-Fi card in next. Oh. We might want to connect all the fans first. Hold on one second, let me get a better light. All right, so we gotta plug in the fans and stuff. So, let's see. So from up here, we've got two fans that need to get plugged in. So let's see something that says fans here. Let's move this on. Over here, I think, would be good. I need to see the top of my fat head. Alright, let's see. This is a USB 3.0. Here's a system fan right here. Okay. So. It has four. This has three. There should be two fan spots. Fan three. There's another fan over there. We don't have a fan on the top. Okay. So where's fan one? Just so that I know. We have all our options here. Okay, so this is fan three. This is fan two. Don't see system fan one. It's uh, LED. Okay, I guess in case you want to put in LEDs, there's a USB. Mm, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I don't want all these things hanging out all over the dang place, but I do want them plugged in. So, I'm going to take, oops, how'd that go? Okay, it's down, yeah, that's fine. I guess they, I'm going to get it out of there. Okay, we're going to route this this way. Okay, and up through here. Ow, my fingers. All right, here we go. System fan. 
pull this in a fan three. There we go. Okay, so this one, we also don't want flopping all over the place. Normally, this would be if there was a fan up here, or that's down there. Uh, there should definitely be another fan over there. I don't understand why I don't, I'm not finding it. Hmm. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so this one, I'm going to route. It'll come back this way from behind here. Okay, and I will hide all these wires. Okay, so see how this is? Uh -huh. And there's that. I want you to put that on there. Okay. You're only using three out of the four little things. Nope, 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 nope. You gotta line that, that little thing up with the slide. There you go. You had it. Oh, well, that, that, that. There you go. Okay. That's the fans. What else do we have from up in this area? We've got um, up here, we've got all these other wires back here. So, let's see what else we got here. We got, one of these is a USB 2 and one's a USB 3. So, let's see if they labeled it all nice. That would be super awesome. And this other one is audio. Okay, so, nope, that's just the power cables. Okay. Oh, they have little LEDs. Yeah, for the lights up here. Okay, so this ah almost fell over. Did you get a mouse or are you gonna use that mouse for the from the laptop? Yeah, we'll just use the mouse that I've been using for my laptop. Alright, let me see what else we got here. Oh, okay, so if we ever decide to put a fan in here, there's another fan thing right there. Okay. Okay. And then see how this is the CPU fan? So that's system fan one, two, and three. And then that's for the CPU fan. Okay. Um, this is all your power switches and... Normally that wouldn't be way super far away from there. Uh, USB 3. That's this. I believe. The blue one. Yeah, I think so. Okay. That goes in there. Alright, oh. Let's not put it up like that. Let's slide it in from the back here. So that way when we go to put all this back in, I'll just crunch all that stuff back there. I'll leave it back there. And pull all the excess away. Okay. We like that. Okay. There's a spot. I really would think that it's going to be way over here. I don't know why it would be far away from this where things normally plug in right, with this one. This is the other USB. So, nope. Nope. And that's the HD audio. Okay, so there should be an audio one and a USB one. Alright, so, see this one here? See how that's missing a corner? Yeah. And that's missing a corner, and it says USB on it. Uh -huh. So that goes in there. So now we have to hide this back behind here. Okay. And it will come up through here. And hopefully, it reaches. I would hate for it to not reach. All right, it reaches. Okay. So that corner here, let me get where I can see the light here. There we go. Okay, so 
So this goes in here. Okay. Okay. And this is the. Oh, we have no, one more other thing. What is this? Nope. Nope. Where'd my other thing go? Here it is. So this is the audio. So help me find the audio. So this one, if you look, see how it's missing a missing one of those things right there. I'm gonna let you find it. It's gonna be a, a thing like this. Oh, did you already find it? I'll route it, just you you find it. I'm giving you this so that you can see. See? And it says audio on it. It goes right there? All right. This is audio, right? It does say audio, you're correct. So let's see if we can route this back here so it can still be hidden too. See why I'm hiding all these wires back here like this? Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't want all the wires up in here. Oh no! They're not reach. It's not gonna reach. Is there some other spot to run that to? All right. Well. It looks like this one does not get to be hidden as much. Let's see if I can get it to come from here, maybe. Oh, that's kind of saddening. It is. It is kind of sad. All right. Well, this one doesn't get hidden, unfortunately. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not, yeah. My bad. Okay, so this one goes in this way, it looks like. Okay. That's about as hidden as we're going to be able to get it. Unfortunately, luckily we don't need all these PCIs, so I can just kind of stuff it along there. I want to get it underneath this. It'd be awesome if I could get it underneath there without breaking it. What time do you think we'll have this done by? Hmm? So what time do you think we'll have this done by? I don't think it'll take much longer. Just gotta plug in all these cords and screw this back on. Well, you could, now we have to do, while I'm doing this, I'm trying to save some time on the back end by doing the cord management now. Hmm. But eventually, you'll have to, dang it, I guess that's the, that's the way to get right there. All right, so this one is all of your other powers. I believe we're looking at stuff over here. Let me see this. We've got LEDs, um, speaker power LEDs, what is this stuff, HDD LED, okay so here's where all the LEDs go it looks like, mm, are they color coded, HD, RES, okay look, come over here. We'll get to where you can see either way. Let me get some, let me get some light here. Sorry guys, we're trying to make what we got work here. Alright, look. See how each of these has two things? Some of them have one, right? Say so this says power switch. Okay? So you look for one that says power switch. They're really small. Oh, there's all those colorful ones? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's all them colorful ones. That help you? Oh, what are you doing? Do you need to turn this around towards you? I need to push this bench back. It's full of it. Oh, that can't go any further. That's what I'm saying. Do you want me to turn this around towards you? Sure. 
That way you're not leaning over it as far. Okay, one. Let me get all these power cords. They're gonna hang down here now. Is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. You need that? You're blocking your own light. You're still blocking your own light. Can't, you can't see anything, can you? No. Okay. What if we move it this way? Now, can you see it better? Top one, the red one is power. Then there's some other one. Then there's HD. Alright, let's do this. Power switch. The reset switch. Alright, power switch goes on the red. Is there a positive? Is one of these positive, one of these negative? I think the arrow means positive. Okay, so the positive is. Um, run this back here. No, let's run this all the way through here and bring it up through here. Where'd it go? I lost it. Yeah. There it is. doing dude okay nope see it's on yellow and okay there we go power with the arrow all right what else we got we got HD power LED power LED positive reset switch okay reset switch is right underneath the power switch Here. Hey, hold this over here so I can see what I'm doing. Like um, that? No, over here, this way. Good. Yeah, that's better. I wish you had a flashlight. Okay. Let's reset switch. Okay. And we've got HD. Let me make some room here. Peel these apart and it helps a little bit. Okay, let me see. Okay, HD is on the bottom. Okay, take that back up. Positive, negative. Okay. Alright. And then. What's left? We've got the power LED. Okay, those look like other LEDs. That is a P LED. Power LED. What are these other ones? Other one is speakers. Listen to a super annoying. Hey, mom. It's fine. Just leave it. <laughs> put this one in here. She's watching.
announcing that live baby thing. Yeah, it's those British guys, they keep a uh, British couple, they keep playing pranks on each other. Ah, dang it, I almost had it. All right. There. You get on more? Yes, that was a pain. Everything's super small to read. All right. So we've got that stuff routed behind the back. I still need to be able to see, though. Okay, all that stuff's routed behind the back. Those are plugged in. These are plugged in. This is plugged in. What is this one? Let's check. Make sure this one. This is going to be a giant mess to get later here. Take care of with all these wires. All right. No, don't, don't worry about it. We'll get them in a second. All right, so now we need to put in our Wi-Fi card. It's this guy. Okay, so. Our Wi-Fi guy. Yeah, so we got to put him in. And we got to put this over here somewhere. So this goes in here. Nope, that's not where it went. I found the spot it went, and that wasn't it. No! Don't tell me it's underneath the frickin' thing. I think it is. Oh. It's underneath this. Yeah! Hold on. I might can get it in from the side here. I, I don't know, though. Even if I do, I don't know if I, I won't be able to get the screw in now. All right, well, this guy's come back out again. That paints for one. Oh my gosh. All right, just so you guys know, we're having to take this thing out again. How much time left on the video recorder? All right. You took the entire bench away, you know that, right? Sorry. Mm. Oh, it's got it really tight, and I use my, my freaking hand. I don't know why I don't come out now. All right, there we go. All right, well, that's, that's coming back out again. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Because we have to put this here Wi-Fi card in right here. And see, that's a, a screw right there, so we can get that little screw out. Mm, where's my? Oh, there's my number one Phillips head. I was about to ask you where, what you did with it. Oh, I did nothing. Okay. So this goes in right here. I knew I should put this in and just left the uh Okay, see how nicely that goes in? And then you push it down? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hold it down. Now I want you to take this screw mm -hmm. and this screwdriver and put that screw in there. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many times I told you this screwdriver is magnetic. Okay. How about you push it down? Yeah. I'm not really. Ah. I know, dude, but you gotta. You get, the only way you're gonna get good at using your hands is to use your hands. Okay. Saying you're not good at something is not gonna be the way to get better at it okay there you go so that's in there so we'll move this out of the way for now until we decide which slot we want this in I'm kind of thinking of this bottom one 
maybe here. Oh, all right. We've had a lot of practice putting in this uh, <laughs> this video card. It slides in and out, right in and out now. It's just like click. Then you mess around. Okay. Put that in just enough to catch. Put this one in just enough to catch. Oh yeah, these go right in now. It's amazing. Amazing how this works. Yeah, it's screw one. Oh, that one's not catching. I wonder if it got stripped out too. Choose this one. Hmm. All right, well, looks like it's going to be held in by one screw. I guess that hole got stripped out while we were putting it in the first time. But you know what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the line that comes into here is good and tight and it'll hold this up this way to help hold it up. All right, where do we want this? Uh, I guess that's as good a place as any. I don't wanna take up that slot. In case I put something in there, that that would be an audio card. Like if you want an audio card, I don't think I'm gonna do like some big giant audio system. Okay. That sounds like something you need, like a whole bunch of speakers and crazy stuff. The our monitor has speakers. Uh, we'll leave fine for now. Okay. Uh, we can always move this because this is just uh, an antenna. Because there's an antenna that screws onto this. Oh. Okay, because this just slides in like that. The antenna be like sticking out. Ooh! Oh. Yeah, we Outside. can't have this. Hold on. We're going to have to keep that. I wonder if we should have ran it up to here. Underneath and up to here. I think that's probably the better bet because, uh, well, we'll have to take that out again. And there's a reason why. Why do you think I can't put it here? Because it won't fit there. See this wire? Oh my god. Now, if I put it down here, that might work, but it's still close to this wire. So if I run it underneath, I wonder if I, can, I can't get it all the way around because it's underneath. So if I run it, um, if I run it under here instead and put it up here, then all of the wire will be on this side over here. I think that would be better. So let me uh, get this bad boy out of here again. 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 Hey, man. You know what? It's trial and error. Every computer is set up slightly different. But most of them have all the same components. But we want to make sure that we don't run into issues and have to take it apart once it's up and running. So what we'll do is run this under here. And then see how the wire's on this side? Uh-huh. Yeah. I think that's a better choice. So we'll put this in first. Up here. And this doesn't create any heat or anything, so it's not bad being over in this area. Problem solving right here. Okay. 
But we gotta make sure, see how we gotta make sure those stay down there? Because if it comes over over this, uh -huh. yeah, we can't plug it in, right? It's gotta stay underneath like that. So I think I'm gonna have to get a, not a zip tie, but we have those little tie ties. It might work. I don't wanna use our zip ties that we're gonna use on the back or something like that. Let me, um, let me just use my fingers so I don't mess it up. What do you do? You just flick yourself in the neck? Yeah. Weirdo. Looks like uh, our video camera died in, while we were finishing up the install. But if you can see here, let me move this. We've got everything all in here. Nice run where it's not all crazy. And uh, we turned it on, came on. But apparently it's telling us our RAM isn't installed right. Remember how we were saying we put it on uh, both on A's, I guess? It says that I should do it this way to run optimally. Right, put one on uh, B2 and one on A2, and then restart. So that's what I'm going to do real quick, and then I'm, I should get into the BIOS and stuff, and I'll pull you guys right back up to see uh, if it's picking up everything just fine. But it, it, I'm I'm to this point, so we've gotten this far, and this is, you know, pretty decent for a couple hours, and using a 13 year old for about half the labor, if not a little bit more. So. Give me a minute and I'll uh, get this changed out and fixed up. All right, so I changed up the configuration and I'm gonna turn it back on and uh, hit delete about a bazillion times to make sure that I can get to the BIOS page before it tries to, oh, I gotta put the power back on the power supply. Okay. Okay, it's coming back on again. Alright, hey, look, we got our system bio stuff up right here. Let's see if you guys can see this. Alright, so we've got um, system, module name, administrator bios, okay. Uh, fast boot disabled. We might mess with that stuff later. Mouse speed. Oh, I have a mouse on this. Cool, cool. Peripherals. Um, let's see, PCI slot 1. Software control, chipset, trusted computer, okay, chipset, audio controller enabled, um, I want to see, there should be a spot, PC help, smart fan settings, system, I wish I could see if it was reading all of the memory, I mean, I guess it did, because... It, uh, it came up and saw that the memory was in the wrong spot, and now it's not saying it's in the wrong spot, so, uh, USB driving strength, all right, well, well, now we run into the problem of I have no, uh, Windows 10, so. Um, I'm going to shut this back off. We got it up and running. I'm going to show it to Gage. He had to go take a shower and get ready for bed. Um, but I'm going to show it to him. We got it up and running. It knows what date it is. That's good right off the bat. Uh, the time's off. Who cares? I'll get all this stuff set up uh, later. So, um, yeah. We built a computer for gaming. Pretty good. And then uh, Gage won't be here this weekend. He'll be at his dad, so I'm going to put on uh, Friday. I will put on the uh, Windows 10 as soon as I get it. Get everything booted up. Uh, probably up, update all the uh, drivers and stuff. And we'll be set to go. And that'll be awesome. I'll have some overlays. We'll have uh, a lot better setup. 
my like I got this cool keyboard you can see that but it's going crazy I don't know how to run the lights and stuff my friend gave me this I can change the LEDs on that right so we got some LEDs we got some light over here inside of this thing and we got some lights here so it's not a super flashy setup but it's a setup nonetheless and I think it'll work really well so I can't wait to get the get uh, windows 10 in and I'll see and I'll pop back in before I publish this and hit windows 10 and get it all set up and show you the end results all right so as you can tell I'm in a different outfit because it's the next day and we got our windows so I'm gonna boot this up and I'm gonna put this on here I know it takes a while to load and stuff so once I have it in here and on or in here on the machine and I have all everything all booted up we'll uh, see what kind of specs we're getting and uh, make sure everything's working right so see you guys in a, probably an hour maybe but be right back all right so it's up and running let me get this <coughs> junk out of the way here so we're gonna um pull up i put it in my usual um what is this english united states keyboard to switch input methods yeah we don't need that all right let's see um not display settings we need hardware 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 um here settings she said that it was Got the internet hooked up. Um, devices, system, that's what I want. I want to see our specs. Got that. Landscape, multi displays, we don't have. I'll mess with the sleep stuff later. I'm trying to find um, storage. All right, so we have. So our, our card came with 930 gigabytes is what it effectively has. So after installing uh, Windows, we have 905 gigs left. So that's plenty. Um, use storage, keep clutter off your PC, make Windows, no. See, and I told it I did not want to do, it does not get to know anything. <coughs> it wanted to share all this stuff. Uh, give me a second. Let me pull up the specs. Um, now, you have to... I have not done this in a while where I actually pull up... Um, I'll, put, I'll set this up later. I'll set that up later. Devices, personalization, time. How am I not able to get... Um... Multitasking, clipboard. All right, give me a minute. Let me find the uh, the set, the area that pulls up all the uh, the hardware. One second. I uh, pop this on. We still got Windows going on. Windows has come on, but now it has a million updates. So many, and that list keeps going down. Um, I was trying to find the drivers to update them, so I just kind of went to the. The hardware and hit update driver and then it said that i need to download all this other stuff and this is what you run into when you're uh when you're doing a brand new build apparently they don't show you the, a lot of this stuff on uh on the youtube videos so i'm like oh hey this is you know the part where you have to sit here and wait for two hours while your computer updates but it's cool we're updating everything um and once it's all up and running, like right now, it's it's already pulling updates for the NVIDIA displays. It did get some driver updates, so we're just waiting, and uh, maybe we'll get up and running. I'm sure we'll get up and running tonight, but I don't know if we'll get up and running before Gage takes off. I had him doing a lot of the uh, setup stuff, well, as much as I could. There was some stuff about the privacy and everything. I, I clicked through that real fast and got rid of it all. I don't want people getting my junk. It's mine. So... Um, and I don't need suggestions from Microsoft on how to run my computer, so I turned it all off. But, you know, we'll get it all set up, and we'll be right back on when it's all done. All right, well, I'm super excited. Everything's up and running. All the updates are done. I've downloaded League of Legends. I'm getting the uh, OBS, uh, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, it's downloaded on there again. 
It kept my layouts from my laptop when I was using it to run things. Uh, the layouts never worked. That laptop's too weak, which is why I built this. Um, I logged into Twitch. Everything seems to be working. It's picking up all 16 gigs of RAM. I even uh, went and ran a Cinebench, and I, I wish I had uh, kept it on here, but it was running at uh, multi-core 1586-ish, and that's with that i3 and that, uh, that, uh, the, what is that, GeForce 1650 Super. So, running real great. I guess it said for, it suggested for gaming to be about a 700, so I'm double that. So, we should be all good. Now, League doesn't take much to run. My laptop can run it, but, um, I think with streaming and everything else, and then I'm going to start, so I'm going to set this up, mess with the stream a little bit to make sure it works. Then I'm going to set up a capture card for my Xbox here. And then I'm going to uh, see if that works. And so I'm just doing some testing tonight. I probably won't stream too much. I, who knows? I might get into it and just stream. Um, but this is awesome, you know, and this rig didn't cost me too much. Um, I really want to say just an estimate of about a thousand. That's with the keyboard. The OEM uh, uh, thing, all the parts, all the shipping, the uh, the monitor, everything was I th I think right around a thousand or just under. So, and I saved a lot of money by building it myself versus just buying a uh, buying one already built. And I had a good time with my son. Now he went to stay at his dad's house, so I'm gonna get this up and running, and then maybe set up some profiles for each of the kids, show them how to stream, and then. I'll be able to just monitor them if they want to stream on their own. So this is this is awesome. So now we got this whole cool little setup down here, right? Don't mind that mess over there. I'm just, I got to get all that kind of organized. So here we go. That's what we'll be streaming on. So. See you guys on Twitch.